Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Uh, as you know, we like to be as trendy as possible up here, so lately we've gotten into 1920s college pranks. I'm taking care of swallowing goldfish. <laughs> and uh, Servo here is uh, stuffing phone booths. Oh, man, I got my face stuck in my own armpit here. Whew, why didn't anybody tell me I smell like Gouda? <clears throat> oh, and Crow's into the uh, flagpole sitting. I better check on him. How's it going up there, Crow? I'm cold and I'm lonely. Haven't I set the record yet? Yes, if the old record was 37 seconds. <laughs> just can't take it anymore. The isolation. I I'm coming down, guys. I just gotta... Whoa, 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 whoa. Look out. Ah! Ooh, gotten into some bad habits. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, Mike, can I borrow your Mitchum roll-on, please? Sure. Oh. Sure. Do that. from Swanson, a whole pound of the good hearty food that men love. Hungry man, it's good to be full. Right? Well, I heard the government told them to do it. Huh. This month at Sonic, we ask why one onion ring in our chicken strip dinner? You already get lots of all-white meat strips, plus dipping gravy, fries, Texas toast, even a cold drink for only $3.99. This is one delicious mystery. Why just use Febreze on the dog bed? After all, lots Cowboys. of everyday odors aren't as obvious. At least to you. Clean away odors all over the house. And Febreze will leave a freshness you'll notice. It smells nice in here. The more you use it, the more you love it. Febreze. The most terrifying movie of the year. Sand, it's based on true events. I've seen your friend. It's heart-stoppingly scary. The Mothman Prophecies, rated PG-13. Now playing in theaters everywhere. Reviewing our last fiscal year, the numbers from January were slightly better than the numbers from February. However, the numbers in January were identical to the numbers in March. The numbers in April were slightly lower than the numbers in March, but identical. Like playing games? Come to Best Buy, where you can play the latest video games and try out a lot of other cool stuff. Best Buy. Go ahead. Turn on the fun. Yarom need not never sci-fi. Hey Jim, you hear about Chanco Wireless? I just ordered 200 shares. I went for 300. I locked in at 2510. I got it for 2505. But we ordered at the same time. That's too bad. Well, how, why did your broker get it cheaper? Because Ameritrade doesn't play favorites. They go to multiple market centers to look for the best price. Well, my broker does that. Don't they? I don't know. 
Some brokers buy from networks they own. Sometimes they sell you stock out of their own portfolios. And sometimes when you're really mad, your neck gets all blotchy. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Fine. Switch to Ameritrade for BetTrade.com. Nickel for your thoughts? <laughs> Every forensic pathologist has at least one or two cases that can't be solved. To date, I've made successful transfers of neuroelectrical impulses. Impulse, 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 impulse. Do you know all the murders that can be solved? This is about your wife, isn't it? I'd be willing to try it. You're saying a cop killed your wife? You have no idea what you've done to yourself. Memories never die. Linda Fiorentino, Kim Cattrall, Ray Liotta, the sci-fi premiere of Unforgettable. Tonight at 9 on Sci-Fi. Remind me not to do that again, Mike. <laughs> Mike? Okay, sir. Well, I'm going for a record worth having. Now, count how many largemouth bass I swallow. Uh, okay. How many so far? So far, none. Yeah, uh, is this someone's fish? Attention, captive test subjects. The Institute for Mad Science has sent me my first experiment to inflict on you. Okay, now, let's do it right so I can get on to the real mad scientist stuff, like pulling the heads off monkeys. No, oh, don't even. Oh. This is a variant on the very evil Zimbardo experiment. The hypothesis is, is that if one of you, say a servo, is given complete power and authority over the others... Furthermore, those violating martial law will be torn in half by sumo wrestlers. Hooray! And finally, my good people, give me all your cookies and I won't have you killed. Hooray! Person in charge will no doubt become corrupt, so we take your person in power and fill his underwear with fire ants. Fire ants? I'm no longer fit to leave. I've come down with a sudden hunt. I relinquish my power to my... I'm a private citizen. You can have your damn cookies back. Hooray! Ah, so we see that fire ants in the underwear can change the course of whole governments. Yes, good, good, good. And since Bobo here is my control group, had no fire ants in his underwear, we can conclude... Hang on. You said no fire ants in the underwear? Yes. Why? Damn. I gotta go change. I'll be right back. Damn! Well, I declare this experiment a huge success. Now, while I compile my data, I invite you to suffer through today's movie. It's called Merlin's Shop of Mystical Wonders, and it's a delightful Bambi romp through a flowery fairyland of happy, harmless, fruit-fruit family fun for the whole family of all ages. Is it? Taste the rainbow of fruit pain. <laughs> Uh, uh Servo, uh, you got the keys to these chains? Yeah, yeah, I had them in my pocket here. I go, don't, don't, don't have pockets. Don't die! Ah, oh, oh, great, we got a movie sign. sign. Oh. I bet the J is for jerk. Hey, now you don't know that. Hmm? Merlin's hop? Okay, Merlin's... Try the Merlin chop. A half a pound of Merlin served with steak fries, vegetable of the day, and quipped dessert. <laughs> mm, the mystical wonder is that he's in a movie. The mystical shop of yum. I foresee I'm gonna get hammered. Okay, let's predict some crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Tom. Excuse my juicy belches. <sighs> well, what should I do now, Thomas? Go on. Tell me. So this is how Madeline Albright makes decisions. Okay. Oh, great. Her house is H-O scale. She looks like an overstuffed turtle. 
Is there any cheaper vodka than Popoff? Thomas? Why have you stopped talking to me? Larry Bud Melman in drag. Thomas? Are you wearing clean underwear in the afterlife? Thomas Johnson, are you there? Thomas Johnson here for all your insurance needs in the underworld. <laughs> the ants have been screwing with her like this for years. <laughs> all right. Who's the wise guy? I am who am the wise guy. Well, if you're not Thomas, <laughs> then who are you? Mm -hmm. Identify yourself, please. I'm Bob Olson. I took over Tom's policies when he went on vacation. Tapped into the mystical world of Parker Brothers. Tom Bosley was her hand double. Wow. Kiss my hey. Kenneth Starr is Mrs. Fortune Teller. <laughs> Tito Puente. Hmm. Chow Jatter? Chatty Kathy, where you got to go, baby? <laughs> I use pearl drops. Mm. No. No. My tinctures. Bonjour, I am a French trap. We. Oui. No! 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 My garage sale appointed home! <laughs> the fudge stripe factory's been hit. Mab! Felix, like I'm gonna kill you! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the monkey's audition tape. Tonight on Old Lady Gets Killed. <laughs> there. So that's how you got rid of Grandma, huh? Oh, wonder whose kid that is. It's Mikhail's timeshare in Sarasota. live in a furniture showroom. Uh-oh. You better eat all the ice cream. Oh, great. I'm gonna miss the movie. Well, maybe it's just as well. I'm not so sure your mother would approve of you watching all that scary stuff just before going to bed. It wasn't that scary. Oh, no? Well, <laughs> you know, actually... <laughs> That toy monkey reminds me of a story I once wrote for television. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what was it? Yeah, save it for Carson, Grandpa. Of course. Merlin. Merlin? Merlin the Sorcerer. Only it didn't take place in the time of King Arthur. You see, Merlin used his powers to come to our time to set up a shop of mystical wonders for all to see. Mystical wonders? <laughs> What are you talking about, Grandpa? I'm talking about... Shaft. John Shaft. Magical things. Uh -huh. Crystal balls. Mm -hmm. Enchanted stones. Mm -hmm. Wondrous objects <laughs> that Merlin has collected over the years. What did you do with them? Why... I'm going to make us some drawn butter. He sells them. Or even gives them away. Then I shave my eyebrows. Something magical happens <laughs> that changes a person's life forever. Like what? Metamucil. Young man. <laughs> Are you actually asking me to tell you a story? <laughs> yeah, sure. 
Turn off yeah. the lights, come back on. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> We're here. <laughs> you hold on to that, and I'll tell you the story. Only, oh. let me see, it's been a few years, so you'll have Man. to forgive me if I can't remember it exactly <laughs> as it was written. Go for it. Go for it, eh? <laughs> All right. Well, the story begins in a small town in Northern California on a starry night. This guy took his life, as lovers often do. Twinkle, <clears throat> that's all I can manage. Merlin was a thieving crackhead who fenced VCR to feed his habit. <laughs> oh, sorry, this was my spec script for the rookies. Great, all I managed to steal was a sock. Huh? Hmm? Jackpot of Mr. Bulkies. I'm Tinkerbell. I'm Tinkerbell. I'm Tinkerbell. No, I'm Tinkerbell. I'm Tinkerbell. I'm Tinkerbell. It's me. Me. <gasps> Leon Russell. Hmm. Where is that great clips coupon? He's a retired snow monkey. Who's that? Oh, Hydrant. <laughs> oh. Hey, he's an obsessive hand washer. Hmm. I prefer Jarlsberg, thank you. Nelson. Look at all these Gordita wrappers. What have I been doing? Hi, Charlie. How you doing? So, when he's doing housework, does he just put everything in a ponytail? Hair, beard, mustache? I have a feeling his bathroom sink is always plugged up. <laughs> oh, wow, man. <gasps> and night crawlers. Welcome to Night Burger. What will ye have? Nicholas, did you see where Mommy put her keys? Susan! Alan! Mm. I haven't seen you in ages. Great, how are you? I'm okay. Mm. So how are you and Mr. Excitement? Oh, we're fine. He's around here somewhere. How about you and Mel? Not bad. No complaints. Wow, I can't get over how good you were. You must have lost. Mm. <laughs> First night to wear a kicky scarf. <laughs> Ebenezer! Oh, damn, I did it again. Look, Mommy. Hey, you sell smokes here? It's George Stephanopoulos. It's a blue cheese you store it. <laughs> Hey, can I get some mystical help here? Yeah, I just know Meatloaf is gonna walk in in some big robe. Uh, I'm here for the dwarf job. Merlin passed out while filling the tub. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kid's sort of like a mouse. I could give it a shot. They have it all. Wealth, fame, beauty, and sorrow. Were you like 16 or 17 when she passed? And I was traumatized by that. Join John Edward as he brings messages of validation and love to three very special celebrity guests. If I can help just one person, then it's all worth it. Ricky Lake, Anne Rice, Roma Downey. It reinforced for me something that I'd believed my whole life. Crossing over with John Edward's Celebrity Spotlight, Sunday at 8 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Think of e-business as a game. You got players, you got management. <laughs> you got opponents who don't always play by the rules. This game takes strategy and the ability to move that metaphorical ball that is information.
with more money on the line than in any other game that's ever been played. E-business isn't just a game, it's the game. So if you're going to play, play to win. Where is it written that only a sports car can behave like a sports car? Not here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, zoom, 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 zoom. Powerful two-liter Mazda Protégé. Why should sports cars have all the fun? In a valley near a river, there is a place called Perfect. In Perfect, there are no last-minute parties or belated birthday cards. Horns are only honked in celebration. And in the evening, there's an extra hour for play. Of course, we don't live anywhere near perfect, so we have Walgreens, open every day, many 24 hours, where we can get what's needed for the real world. That's life. This is Walgreens. It's absurd. It's outrageous. It's Monty Python's Flying Circus. Call now and get Monty Python on two full-length videos or one DVD for just $19.99. Use your credit card in the next 10 minutes and we'll cut the price in half. You'll get two videos or one double-length DVD for just $9.99. Then preview other hilarious volumes. Keep only those you want. Cancel any time. From lumberjacks to dead parrots, you'll get all your favorite Monty moments. Remember, call now with your credit card order and get Monty Python for just $9.99. <laughs> Don't miss out on this exclusive TV offer. Call now. Call 1-800-764-6611 and get two videos on VHS or one DVD for only $9.99 when you use your credit card. Or send $19.99 plus $4.99 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Or order online at timelife.com. What? Well, look who we have here. Yeah. Well, we have a visitor. I'm scared. Have you too. found something you like? Cat got your tongue? Is that Bella Abzug? Or... Merlin sends in his trained flatulence to scout the room. <laughs> I'm a pillow with features. Jam Productions presents Merlin. You kids get off the grass. Got the results from my daughter yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing is, we haven't been getting along that well for some time now. And Lifetime well, Network? <laughs> I know he resents me for not being able to get pregnant on our own. Whoa, too much information. Just getting him to go to the fertility expert was a giant blow to his ego, and now... After everything, when he finds out there's no hope at all, he's just gonna... <laughs> you mean you haven't told him? I haven't had the nerve, I just... Plus the polyps in my mm. colon. Look, I gotta go. I really wanted this baby. You could always adopt. Jonathan would never raise someone else's mm. baby, you know him. But having a child is so important to you. Would you just... Me... <laughs> oh, no. Man, I love Glendale. My sperm is top-notch, it's her. Hello, Susan. I bet you can have a baby. <laughs> well, Mother, what do we have here? Doesn't he remind you of someone? Hmm? Hmm? I'm the old who. Who else? Oh, hmm? yes, of course. How foolish of me. <laughs> Get back, old man. I bet your name isn't Arthur. <laughs> Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh. Do you like my pigeon impersonation? Man, it's Nicholas. <laughs> Just keep smiling. <laughs> oh, Nicholas, do you believe in magic? You do? Oh, I knew it. Help. Oh, you see, Mother, we're not too late. There's still hope. That's enough out of you, Gwen. Behave yourself. <laughs> That's your fault. You didn't yes. take her out last night, did you? You know how she gets. <laughs> now, what can we do for our young friend? Show me the exit. 
Come here, Nicholas. How would you like to see one of my favorite tricks? No. Please. You would? No. It's one of my favorite tricks. Nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> nah, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> now watch closely. <laughs> 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 You can just pop it in your mouth whole. That's uh, very amusing. Is that the extent of your powers, magician? Oh, I'm sorry. Merlin? May we help you? <laughs> yeah, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bob Jackass. My name is Jonathan Cooper, the third. <laughs> Get the gun. She wants me. Interesting shop. Heavy atmosphere. Good use of trolls. No sign of contemporary influence in design or structure. Shop is at best, um... Let's moon him on three. Overly theatrical. Uh, excuse me. Was there something you, uh, wanted? What I want is a story. I want Runaway Bunny. I am a respected columnist in this town, and I'm here to decide whether or not your shop is worthy of my reader's time and money. Worthy? What do you mean, worthy? Nicholas, what are you doing in here? Come on, you know better than to wander off like that. What happened? <laughs> Where'd that chicken come from? What chicken? Nicholas, come on, let's go. Thank you, Mom. Oh, Nicholas, come back soon, okay? Uh, I don't think so. Take care, Susan. Remember what I said. Call me. I will. <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, what were you doing here? Did he pay? This would be precious. Hmm. Merchandise consists of knickknacks, statues, various psychic uh. paraphernalia <laughs> such as crystal balls, etc. Hey, get off my tail. <laughs> so, tell me, what's all this about? Why are you here? Why has Merlin <laughs> and uh, his wife, I presume, Zarella, mm -hmm. Zarella, come to the 20th century? I don't like your attitude, young oh, man. What business dear. is it of yours? Uh, Mr. Cooper, I bid you lick me. I'm here mm -hmm. to awaken the world. Huh? Awaken the world? From what? Oh, he's hot. To bring magic back into the lives of those who have let science and technology cloud their perception. Electric skillets must go. Perceptions of the power which truly cover the universe. We also make keys to believe whatever crap I shovel out in the unbelievable. <laughs> Why is she wearing a doggy bed on her head? Oh, there was a time when wizards commanded their respective king. That was a sweet gig. And all shared an undisputed belief in the mystical powers which guided their lives. Um, I just came in to buy some shampoo. The objects which you see before you, Mr. Cooper, are those magical, mystical wonders <laughs> which I have 20% off this week. And with them, I shall allow people to experience that belief in magic. And low, low prices. Again. You really believe you are Merlin, don't you? My cheek lines <laughs> disagree. Store owner's an eccentric old man who suffers from delusions of being a wizard. No, Merlin sneezed that. I am, Mr. Cooper. Why well, say I am? Sure you are, pal. And I'm, uh, Lancelot. Why, you insufferable uh, uh, compass! Uh, uh, Mr. Cooper, I can assure you... Uh, a coupon for a good review. Intentions are entirely honorable. This is so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. It's a laurel. A bassarino. A very special stone. A wishing stone. Come on. For Pete's sakes, Madeline, don't encourage them. Nothing more than a rock. Like your womb. Make a wish, dear. I did, but I'm still here. Madeline, 
It's people like you that allow this kind of exploitation to go on. Mm. Oh, the old man's funk is overpowering me. It's getting stronger. It's like ammonia in white castles. A most endearing wish. So Billy, by this time, a kid had thrown a chicken while an infertile couple had looked at a store. I have my own private fertility clinic in bed, baby. All right, I've seen enough. I can be a sport about this. If you're really Merlin, prove it. Show me something. As they say, knock my socks off. <laughs> you have no socks. We don't give demonstrations. Sure you don't. <laughs> Listen to me, Obi-Wan. Either you give me something to write home about, or your quaint little shop is history. Jonathan, let's just go. I'm being a jerk, honey. Did you hear me, old man? Do you know who I am? I am the supreme being. Clapton? I chew places like this up and spit them into the toilet. So I'm going to give you one last chance. You prove to me that you're Merlin the Great Sorcerer, or get off the pot. For God's sakes, Jonathan, just drop it. Leave these kind people alone. Otherwise, I won't continue to not have your children. <laughs> Dear, why don't you give him the book? The book? Yes, dear. The book. Your book. A button your robe. What's going on? One of our dwarves died. Mr. Cooper, I may have something for you that will provide the proof you seek. Oh, yeah? It's a pie from Baker Square. Looks like an old book. Do, 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 do. Oh, that it is, Mr. Cooper. It's a book of magic. With a popomatic. My own compilation of spells and incantations. Mm -hmm. More talk of magic. Yeah. I told you the only kind of magic I believe in is the magic I have in these fingers to make this place disappear. Mr. Cooper, if you would just take this book home and read through it, I assure you, you will be thoroughly satisfied. I'm sure you will find that it makes good reading. It's on the Oprah list. All right. You've sparked my interest, old man. I'll uh, look through it. And you'll, uh, you'll trust me to bring it back? Why, certainly. Oh, Mrs. Cooper. You're fine. Please, keep the stone. Oh, no, I couldn't. Dear, it's a gift. Have some slightly used dress shields, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm sure the compilations of a madman will make good reading. Oh, and Mr. Cooper. You're welcome. A few words of <laughs> caution. If you decide to dabble with any of my spells, for whatever reason... You're welcome. Be sure not Do it again. to toy with any that aren't entirely there. You insulting my sperm count? I'm afraid that over the years... Some of the pages have become brittle. Like the misses here. And sections have... broken off. Again, like the misses here. So please, Mr. Cooper, heed my words. Munch my shorts. For your own sake. Look, my reviews have destroyed whole cities. Uh, yeah, so anyway, Mike, it's clear that niche reviewing is the wave of the future. Mm -hmm. The ugly guy in the movie reviews novelty stores and seedy strip malls, and he's famous. Yeah, so we figured, why not review each other? Yeah. <laughs> It'll tell the world about our delightful selves, which needs to happen, oh, and yeah. we become famous. <laughs> I'll go first. <clears throat> From the moment I saw Tom Servo, I was taken with his gay, even naughty bright red color and the unexpected clear Pyrex dome. The little dangly arms, though the function was unclear, added to the lighthearted feel of the experience. Flawless? No. But I recommend this Tom Servo for children and anyone looking for a bare bones kind of robot. There you go. Oh, huh. My turn? Good. <clears throat> 
everyone's talking about the new Crow T robot out on Highway 6. Insouciant, eclectic, it seems to promise a kind of excitement. Yet the overall effect becomes rather more garish than fun, and I left feeling altogether empty and sad. Well, uh, seems like you guys are on your way with a whole niche review. Hey, hey, hold on, so Mike. We'll hold on, hold on. My second visit to Tom's server was even a greater disappointment. Loud and overpriced, there was a thick, oily film coating every surface, and I can only hope I escaped with no serious disease. If my reader's responses are any guide, the Crow T robot era is coming to a close. This poorly conceived disaster is revealed now as a spindly testament to poor taste and nausea. The verdict is in, and the world was not awaiting a chubby, pompous eunuch. Uh, we'll let you these guys chubby? sort it That's out. Right. We'll be right back. Right. Yeah. Chubby. Yeah. Goodbye, Crow T robot. Your ghastly memory still over my mind. Stupid. Think the unthinkable and prepare to face your darkest fear. For two men are about to confront pure evil. Discover the secret of the Brotherhood of the Wolf. Rated R. Now playing in theaters everywhere. Is your dandruff sending the wrong signals? Go! Go! No, no. Get Selsun Power. Doctors recommend Selsun Blue. Man, that is awesome. Get Selsun Power. They all laugh at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laugh when Edison recorded sound. So who is Motor Trend's 2002 Sport Utility of the Year? The GMC Envoy. Those who say America can't compete, don't take test drives. We are professional grade. Oh, 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 who's got the last laugh now? Call Domino's for a free order of oven fresh cinnamon sticks when you buy any large one topping pizza for $9.99. Sprinkled with cinnamon sugar and served with creamy icing, they're tough to resist. So call now, because at Domino's, we've got the dinner thing covered. Get the door, it's Domino's. Reviewing our last fiscal year, the numbers from January were slightly better than the numbers from February. However, the numbers in January were identical to the numbers in March. The numbers in April were slightly lower than the numbers in March, but identical. Like playing games? Come to Best Buy, where you can play the latest video games and try out a lot of other cool stuff. Best Buy. Go ahead. Turn on the fun. Exploding. Now, Cornerstone Promotions brings back the spirit of the 60s with the greatest songs of an unforgettable era. of the 60s on two cassettes or two CDs. Call this toll-free number for Spirit of the 60s. Two cassettes 1998, two CDs 2698 plus 550 for shipping. Have your credit card ready and call now. What happened to me in the Iraqi desert was just the beginning. There is no treatment. Yet here you are. Now I've been recruited for a new war. We need a special investigator on cases involving criminal abuses of science. But I'm not sure who I'm really fighting for. I don't know who you are anymore. From the producer of The X-Files and 24, Strange World, a sci-fi original series, premiering Friday at 8 on Sci-Fi. And so, Mr. Cooper took Merlin's book home Wait a minute, what did Madeline always for? What do you think? Do you figure it out? How are you, Susie's boy? <laughs> well, let's go make love, I guess.
I spoke to Dr. Collins. Oh, yeah, what'd that quack have to say? He blamed your wiener. Nothing. Nothing that would concern you. Oh, for Pete's sake, Madeline. Why is it so difficult for you to show a little compassion once in a while? Or to mm. be nice? My God, just getting along is a major accomplishment. Yeah. Mm. If she had a store, I'd crush her. All right, how do you get out of this thing? Well, it would appear that I, too, have succumbed to the old man's charm, for mm -hmm. I hold in my hand a book of spells. Merlin's book of spells, which no less promises to make me a true believer in magic. Although I must admit, the mere thought of such a thing being real is intriguing. It's your garage door opener. A, a warning. Ye beware who layeth sight on the pages with them. Touch. But I probably should get around to destroying Kozlak's hardware. Must be a fuse. Whew. Finally get out of that car. Okay, what do we have here? Merlin's light summer recipe. Let's see, contents. Spells, love potion, worthless. <laughs> Teleportation, hmm, rejuvenation. Uh, yes, we must stay young and vital. <laughs> What's this his deal? <laughs> What kind of mind spends hours writing this crap? Look at this gibberish. Typically in Latin. Dumbass language. Who was it that first instilled the belief that words, perhaps in their purest form, could actually command the elements? Uh, Bob Ho? Take uh, this spell, for example, to propel away. Derisera! Oh. <laughs> The rug feels soft in my back, and yet one can't help wondering whether extra padding might not be called for. <sighs> That's what I get for screwing around. Ooh. Oh, hey, Miff. I have your mites. All right. Debating whether to continue on with this foolishness, Jonathan Cooper decides to play wizard in Name That Spell. I name it Fred. Here's a good one to levitate. Arisadare! Arisadare! <laughs> Look at me! What? I'm the wizard Merlin, the all-powerful sorcerer! <laughs> it's time for a strongly worded review of my cat, Miffy. Doesn't he look like Judy's husband, Punch? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Punch. Ooh. Ooh. To summon a spirit, say three times in a commanding tone, Viene kire, viene kire, viene kire. Ah, a derecho! Oops, somebody put tinfoil in the microwave. <laughs> Channeling the spirit of a circus freak. <laughs> Did it? Now we can return that arc welder. Oh, what am I saying? Oh, thank you, Latin. Clearly, Merlin has brought good into the world. Yes. Those Altoids are curiously strong. <coughs> uh, Ed from next door came over and got me pregnant, so everything's fine. What on earth is going on down here? The lights just exploded in the bedroom, nearly scared me to death. My tongues are curly fried. Can we talk later? She's Julie Haggerty in. Say that Merlin guy called and invited me down to Barbados for the weekend. Why are you sitting in the dark? What are you doing? Are you trying to burn the house down? I utterly loathe you. You want to have a baby? J Jonathan, I'm sorry. I know it's been hard, but we can get through this. And having a baby... That protrudes my neck cord. Hey, That's... there are thousands of childless couples out there. It's nothing to be ashamed of. We just have to stop blaming each other. Thanks, honey. I'm glad I had this talk. You haven't heard a word I've said. Chuck Woolery! Leave. What is going on with you? This is weird. You're usually so nice. Jonathan, you're scary. <laughs> I'm taking the flashlight and the longer burger basket. That's all I need. Damn, I singed my Mary Engelbright calendar.
dragon's breath. Clarets can help. It works. This book really works. Unlike How to Meet Girls, which did nothing for me. So where's the spirit? Hmm? Anybody there? Come out or I'll review you. Maybe I wasn't commanding enough. This is incredible. Like that show with Fran Tarkenton. The homing spell. Upon proper orchestration of this incantation, an object may be sent away to later return. Like a homing pigeon. Or a domesticated lobster. This is what Merlin warned me about. What do you say? Don't toy with any spells that aren't entirely there. I mean, something about biting him, I think. Buzzard knew damn well I was going to dabble. Well, far <laughs> be for me to go against the master's wishes. I talk to myself a lot. Long monologues, complete with sarcasm. Call forward, Yenikira. It's a phone manual. Yenikira? But that was to summon a spirit. See, there's how to install a baseboard heater. Last letter is different. Typical Latin crap. I'm glad it's dead. Yenekira. It's an ancient spell for becoming a more efficient redneck. <laughs> Yenekira. Hey, the knuckle curve incantation works. <laughs> now to find Dick Weber's split pickup spell. Oh, God, look at this. Magic makes me hungry for grilled brats. Kasorgi Fasa. Kasorgi Fasa. Adnan Kashogi Te Pasa. I'm Ritz. I'm Ritz. Ritz? Man, I love you. But not you, Debbie. You can't give me a child. Lysol presents Facts of Life. Fact, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was full of cold germs. Fact, everywhere that Mary went, the cold bug was sure to go. Fact, Lysol disinfectant spray is unbeatable at helping to stop the spread of the cold bug, killing 99.9% .9 of cold germs. Fact, you can always kill germs, but you can't always have a fairy tale ending. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. What'd you have for dinner? A pound of fried chicken, mashed potatoes, corn and pudding. You? A sliver of trout spritzed with lemon. And maybe carrots! Should have had Hungry Man from Swanson. A whole pound of the good hearty food that men love. Hungry Man, it's good to be full. Right? See you after school, man. Hi, I'm new. Want to be friends? Want a world with faster, better connections? Switch to Earthlink. With fewer drop-offs and tools to reduce spam, it's the internet the way it should be. Switch to Earthlink now and get a thousand free hours when you sign up for six months. Call 1-800-EARTHLINK. Discover the secret of the Brotherhood. And see the film critics are calling a masterpiece. An action-packed extravaganza with kick-butt martial arts and spooky thrills. A wild ride and a stylish thriller. A true original that keeps your eyes popping and your adrenaline flowing. Brotherhood of the Wolf. Rated R. Now playing in theaters everywhere. Thousands of drivers are saving money by switching to Geico Auto Insurance. I'm here with one of them. Hello. You don't want your identity revealed. Why? If word got out I saved so much, people would be hitting me up for money all the time. Ah. Uh, you through with the milk? Sure, of course. I have to be careful. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This February, see the sci-fi premieres of Unforgettable Fallout. Jackie Chan presents Metal Mayhem. And I still know what you did last summer. It's happening again. Cinema Saturday, a new movie every week on Sci-Fi. Here comes the big moment. 
The Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, presented by Pedigree, Monday and Tuesday, February 11th and 12th at 8, only on USA. Oh. That's what I've needed, a pouch. Well, let's see her be all tender and tinkly music when she's changing that kangaroo's diaper at 3 a.m., huh? A jello garden slug. Hmm. I need to get a new underarm crystal. This one has been good to me, but I must say goodbye. <laughs> Drop of mercury. Pinch of sun. Bad hair dye applied. Hair of master. Hey, Mike, is that Satan's butt? Oh, no, wait, it's that guy's face. <laughs> True quarter B. He turned into the Grinch. <laughs> Immediately feed creature three drops. Missy. What's he going to do to the cat? He's going to turn it into a familiar. <laughs> it's an obedient, mystical servant. You know, a devil. Yeah. The potion, when done properly, turns an ordinary animal into a magical creature. Magical? That will do anything at all for its master. Even give up its life. All sorcerers have one. Cool. Mine lives mm -hmm. in my sweater vest. Oh, by the way, there is one very important thing to point out, mm -hmm. because of all the magic that Jonathan's been doing, uh -huh. he's aged about 15 years. How come? Well, using one's psychic powers to do magic drains your life force and causes you to age. Every kid knows that. That's common knowledge among wizards. Life force? Trust me, you play with magic, <laughs> no. you're going to grow old and fast. Okay, okay, go okay. on with the story. Where was I? Are you talking about my prostate? The cat! Oh, yes, the cat, the cat. Well, without a moment to lose, Jonathan apprehends the unsuspecting feline and brings her to his workbench, where he tortures it and kills it. Good night. Well, the cat put lemon juice in his hair and went out in the sun. <laughs> now you're about to learn the true meaning of obedience. Yeah, let me show you the meaning of clump. I'm now safe. I'm now very safe. Boy, oh, look at him spray. I've got your fancy feast served in Waterford Crystal with parsley. He was drawn by Dave Berg. Oh, there you are. Then the devil cat grabbed his throat and pulled out bloody strips of sinew and flesh. Drop a pork knife! <laughs> this is nothing compared to what you cut off me, pal. <laughs> so this is like any cat, then. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh no, the cat's got a knife, too! Now that's not evil doing that, he's just a spaz. <laughs> what, me? What, 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 are you talking to me? <laughs> then the cat's flesh was roasted. Yeah, really. but no. Sit down, you're gonna listen. His flesh melted and his horrible scream. No. <laughs> that damned cat. The cat was made of oily rags. <laughs> Honey, you okay down there? Ah, I got old and roasted the cat alive with my breath, but I'm fine. <laughs> oh, gosh, that stupid cat actually got my tongue. Say, so, hey, you're a cute pitch for Jenny Kira. Well, why didn't you say so? Damn. Whoops. Hello. It's Alistair Sim. What? Now I'll have to wear a ponytail and get a Porsche and a younger wife. Hi, guy. 
Don't be so surprised, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> After all, did you think your newly discovered power came without a private? Mona! <laughs> Magic now. No, I don't like the way they're portraying the devil. It's so biased. <laughs> ah. That bastard, he turned me into Benjamin Franklin. You know, Satan could have at least blended the edges of his bald wig a little better. No. That damn Merlin knew this would happen. <laughs> Meet Satan, the owner of my soul. I gotta give it to you, Marilyn. Good one. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be. <laughs> Just a term. The rejuvenation potion acts to replenish one's life force from the natural effects of aging and the excessive use of one's psychic powers. Ingredients, a pinch of sulfur. Oh, no. I have dead dancing here. Oh, no. Good thing he works out of his home. This would be difficult to explain. Mm -hmm. hmm? <laughs> Here it is under the scorched cat flesh. <laughs> it's Possessy, the clown. Mm -hmm. What's one letter? Ingredients a pinch of sulfur. Shoot, all I have is Keith Richards' old blood. Oh, Madeline. I'm about the bed from Linda Blair. Why, it's the Wallace method for going down to breakfast. <laughs> Riff Raff at home. Hello, Madeline. You're a walking liver spot. What's the matter, dear? Don't you like my new look? What have you done? It's true. He is who he says he is. He is Merlin the Sorcerer. <laughs> Not so fast, my dear. No. I have wonderful no. things in store for us. <laughs> wonderful things. Oh, big mosquito. <laughs> Not a wasted drop. Money, I'm cooling off on the whole kid thing. Doctor. Came, I saw I made cheese dip. Here's looking at you, sweetheart. Oh, no, this is a good enough film. They shouldn't have to steal from other movies. Mm, some chicken and a biscuit would be perfect with this. Mm. Are you coming to bed? It's working. It's working. Look, it's working. My gray is going away gradually. <laughs> There's a mouse underneath my bald wig. <laughs> Dr. Jerko and Mr. Crack. Whatever, honey. I gotta get up early tomorrow. 198, 199. These are 200 count per kale. I'm going home to mother. Oh, wait, she's a demon, too. Hmm. Oh, honey, you're not being condescending to me. I kind of miss that. Hey, there's that ironing board cover. I knew I bought one. Oh, good. Now she has to raise her horrible husband. That's what most wives think they do anyway. Great, a sarcastic baby. Now the kid's gonna write continual bad reviews about his mother's lousy care. So now he's his own father? <laughs> Based on a story by Sigmund Freud. Oh, isn't that... Sigmund, her what? what? Ah. You figured it out. How can I not figure it out? The whole thing with the baby kangaroo made it pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Too obvious, huh? Mm -hmm. A little. So because Jonathan was a jerk, Merlin turned him into a baby? Well, now you can't blame Merlin. 
Jonathan turned himself into yeah, a yeah, painting. Merlin can. just gave him the book. Yeah, right. <laughs> Merlin knew Jonathan was going to read the spells, and he knew it was going to happen to him once he did. Oh, you think so, huh? You know I'm right. You look, this pitch is over, old man. Well, Jonathan <laughs> should never have threatened Merlin in the first place. It's not wise to get on the bad side of a sorcerer. So what about Merlin's book? How is he going to get it back? Remember the homing spell? Oh, yeah. It bored me. Uh-oh. I farted. <laughs> Time for bed, my boy. Oh, no, wait a minute. What about the toy monkey? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good kids figuring oh, out all the plot yeah, holes. Come on. You're not too tired. Grandpa. It's been another crazy day. Wouldn't have it any other way. But dinner's not quite done. Till we add a little fun. Oh, breadsticks. Pillsbury bakes them up hot and fresh with Parmesan or garlic. Ten breadsticks all ready for spaghetti. Get moving to Applebee's for sirloin steak skillets, like our bold pepper steak or smothered steak with fresh mushrooms, onions, and mozzarella. Only at Applebee's. Tomorrow is today. Time to change. Make it happen, create it, take it, shape it. Your life belongs to you. Do it real, make it true. It's your life. Feel it right. Slim Fast, smart, well balanced nutrition to help you eat well and manage your weight. It's your from Pizza Hut. The pizza you eat like a sandwich. It's mozzarella cheese and tantalizing toppings. Sandwich calzone style. $5.99 or have a pizzone party. Two for $10.99. Only at Pizza Hut. I feel a little sinus pressure here, but that's just the start. Slight twinge of pressure right here, but I know it's going to get worse. The first sign of sinus pressure. That's your signal for Sudafed. Sinus pressure can escalate to sinus pain, but taking Sudafed sooner relieves pressure to help keep symptoms from getting worse. Take non-drowsy Sudafed at your, your first sign and help stop sinus pain before it starts. And for nighttime sinus relief, try new Sudafed Sinus Nighttime. <laughs> Resistance becomes strength, becomes power. The power to change and reshape your entire body. This is Bowflex, an entire gem in one easy to use machine. So powerful, it delivers over 60 health club quality exercises with up to 410 pounds of resistance in any room in your home. Strength training with Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. One simple workout. 20 minutes a day, three days a week. Bowflex is real. The results are real. And you can own one with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Call right now for a free video and brochure. Bowflex, the power is yours. Thousands of kids in this country have everything it takes to go to college, except the money. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Don't be such a skeptic, Mike. It'll work once I find the right spell. Servo, you can't levitate an egg reading off some phony spell from a bogus Merlin book. Uh, accept it. Well, you just don't believe in the mystical, wondrous powers of magical Merlin and his holy demons, Mike. Well, here, this one might just work. Eeny, weeny, tipsy, teeny, ob, gob, goobalini, nicka, necka, firecracker, shish, kum, ba. Oh, well, that was a bust. <laughs> what? D -d 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 nothing, Mike. I was just startled. The, uh, the egg didn't levitate. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'd be surprised. I told you what you're going to get with a book of bogus spells is a... Oh. Oh. I don't know what it is. I, 
just feel real fussy. I should put myself down. Yeah, you should do that, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, when you're reading off of a bogus book of spells, what do you expect? But... Oh, Ooh, man. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm just a little colicky. Do I seem colicky? Yeah, colicky, you sure are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, don't dabble with it. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone made a present. <laughs> you want to do the honors there? No! Wow. Well, that's weird. Huh. Serval's gone, and uh, he's not right in front of my face, so that means he's not coming back. That upsets me. Hm. Wham. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> oh, we got movie sign. That upsets me further. Wah! Glad I had that reverse baby spell for you. Yeah. Are you Thanks okay? for changing me, too. Not a problem. I have a nephew. It's nothing I haven't seen. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Ooh, it's Merlin's sex book. Picture of him with Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> must iron his hair. Well, before I hit the hay, I gotta feed the raven, scoop out the troll box, and oh yeah, I gotta see out the cash register. Ah, oh, that's sidewalk sales tomorrow, isn't it? Hmm? Well, better get at my husbandly duties, I guess. Hey. Hey, Mike, he's going to a staff meeting. <laughs> no. My shotgun traps didn't go off. What the hell? It's his wife with no makeup. Chessmaster 2000. <laughs> you look at all that stuff. Why doesn't he just wear a big foam cowboy hat, too? <laughs> Great. The Dr. Pepper guy is burglarizing him. Well, gotta go drain the me. I'm just waiting for my band. Hey, this looks like the most expensive thing in here. Bonjour, my friend. That you, Beanie Boy? You know, if it was Beware of Daryl Dragon, I could relate. <laughs> Maybe a cheesehead hat, a long plastic horn for him? <laughs> Gwendolyn. Hey, quit Dragon Tail. Yeah. I'm gonna end things with Nimue. It's not fair to Zarella. Guy with a toy monkey on the run. Guy with the toy monkey on the run. Gotta get to my stuffed monkey fence fast. Hi, I'm Satan approved. Oh, this is awful. Just awful. And it's all your fault. <laughs> if only you'd place that homing spell on that monkey like I told you to, we wouldn't be in this mess. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. If I only knew where you took it, I could... That's it! I bet she sweats to the oldies. You've got to get out there and track it down. That thief must have sold it by now, or maybe even traded it for food. You've got to get out there and find that thing before it gets into the wrong hands. But where do I start? It could be anywhere. I don't care. Just get <laughs> out there and be creative. Now go. Hit the pavement, you Celtic fairy. Don't I get a kiss? You get a lot more than that if you don't get out there and find that thing. Now go. So she threatened him with <laughs> sex? Mm -hmm. Which chin should I put my hand on? <laughs> wow, I've been needing a porcelain German Shepherd. I love the selection here at Crap and Stuff. <laughs> I had my jaw wired shut because I was eating too much. Could someone please play the 1812 overture? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Love will keep us together. Can we open my presents now? Don't you want to eat your cake first? Now nah, we can eat it later. Oh, muskrat's ham. All right, go for it. Oh, big one. Open mine. Open, open mine. Open the red one. <laughs> it's a honey baked ham. Hey, watch you open Susan's first. <laughs> Susan, you want to eat your cake first? Yeah, I'll eat mine. Okay, I'll eat mine. Okay, you're going to eat yours. Okay, I'll eat mine. 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 Wow, a smell of used toy. Huh. Look at that. Yeah, uh-huh. So I don't get the Intellivision? Every time a bell <laughs> rings, a devil gets his horns. Hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Here's my gums. Now let's open the big one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. What's in there? What's in there? It's a bread maker. Thanks. Oh, what's it going to be? Come on, open it up. Hurry up. Do that to me one more time. Hey, 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 hey don't do that, huh? Hey, 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 do I paw you? Come on, it's very uncomfortable. Hey! and counting. The 210 horsepower supercharged Nissan Xterra. Everything you need, nothing you don't. You gotta do the hard stuff. You gotta clean out the closets. Get on with your life without her. When we lose someone, yeah! are they gone forever? I felt like she was there in the house. She said she'd be coming to see me. Charlie, there's something going on. This is not a joke. It was Emily! She's trying to reach me. Emily! Dragonfly. Rated PG-13. At theaters Friday, February 22nd. Today's business thought. Ever wonder what next generation network really means? It means it won't be ready until the next generation. A message from Worldcom. Owner of this generation's farthest reaching IP network. Leave nothing to chance. WorldCom Generation D. Hi, got your large pizza and free Cinestics. Great. Wow, maybe it's the smell of the Cinestics, or the fact that they're free. But I just want you to know if I had a son, I'd want him to be just like you. Hey, Dad, what's the holdup? We're starving. Gotta go. Topped with cinnamon sugar and served with creamy icing, it's Domino's freshly baked Cinestics. Get a free order when you buy any large one-topping pizza for $9.99. Call now. Get the door. It's Domino's. So warm. So ancient. So free. And so close. Come and discover a world of possibilities. Mexico, closer than ever. Cancun, get closer. My frozen jacked circuits caress my lucid sci-fi. To be your best, to have the energy to work hard and play hard. Getting great sleep is where it all begins. Introducing the Nautilus Sleep System. The secret is our patent-pending air chambers. Each chamber has two zones that interlock to support and evenly distribute your weight to minimize pressure points around your hips and shoulders. With the push of a button, your side of the bed can change from soft to firm and anywhere in between to give you instant comfort. This innovative design is only available on the Nautilus Sleep System. In fact, they're so comfortable and so durable, we back them with a 90-night 100% satisfaction guarantee and a 20-year limited warranty. You can own one with no money down and payments as low as $30 per month. Get great sleep every night and wake up each morning with the energy to handle anything that comes your way. For a free video and brochure, call or go online at greatsleep.com. Nautilus Sleep Systems, leading the way to great sleep. Pocket <laughs> 
Wasn't there a movie once that featured these things, Mike? Yeah, uh, St. Elmo's Fire, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Go. Oh, a lot of grease in my ears. Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. Hey, bring that thing over here a minute, would you mind? But Dad, I'm a rock and roll Martian. Can I play with it for a minute? Sure. You give me a beer. Be adorable. Now, yeah, where'd you find this thing? Oh. You know that junk antique store off the boulevard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw it in the window as I was passing by and I carried this. Oh, too many Seagram's golden coolers. Yeah. <laughs> 70s house, may I help you? Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. How are you? You calling from the basement? No, everything's fine. Michael's fine, we're all fine. Yeah. You enjoying your trip? No, Mom. I don't know why they took Hazel off the air. Great. Great. When are you coming home? That soon, huh? Okay. Three days will call me. Call me and let me know when to pick... No, don't be silly, Mother. Look, don't you dare take a cab. I'm perfectly able to pick you up. What are you, like 50 pounds now? Good. Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of your trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I look forward to seeing you, too. Okay. Good goodbye. I will. Good All right. See you in a few good days. Good goodbye. Bye bye. Wow, Mom's youth do is so strong it came over the phone and killed the plants. I think he has one of those newfangled Lacoste shirts, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, now Mr. Wilson's doing nude yard work again. Oh, please, since when has a man ever noticed a plant in a house? Huh. Oh, that's right. Moses cursed me. Yeah. The pork man's grandson is really bored by now. He putted around the kitchen for a while and got himself a cold drink. I love you this much. Uh, yep, that first morning beer is always the best. Mm. Working at home, the reality. <laughs> this is the evil toy monkey for Polydent. Oh, no. John McEnroe writing letters of apology to various line judges. <laughs> it's also a long range bug zapper, that's handy. Huh. Hmm, is that two-hour Incredible Hulk special on tonight, or is that tomorrow? Hmm, let's see. If I opened another beer now, it would save me time later. This place has much nicer weather than Camelot. It never snows at all. Excuse me. Yeah, Excuse get me. away from me. I have mace. <laughs> please, please. I mean you no harm. Wow. I'm simply trying to find this toy monkey. Uh, by chance, <laughs> have you seen it? Um. That's it. Look at the monkey. Actually, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the way I behaved. Oh, please, just, uh, there's no need. Well, no, it's just that this isn't a very good neighborhood. I mean, you wouldn't believe the weirdos. You just can't be too careful. You know, I mean, I know mace is illegal and everything. Oh, of right course, here. of course. Of course. I understand. Uh, but you said you, you've seen the monkey? Yes. Um, yesterday, this weird guy brought it in. I gave him $5 for it. Do you have it? No, I'm sorry, I don't. It's sold shortly thereafter. Blast it. Now i got to send you to hell. Look, I should be getting back to work. Oh, please, by chance, uh, do you have any information on the person who, who bought it? No, I'm sorry, she paid cash for it. Oh, I see. Well, that just lengthens my beard. There's yours. Uh -huh. Stolen from my shop. Hey, look, you want to meet for a drink later? I hope you find it. Well, I'll find it all right. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye. Hmm, it's kind of sunny. He should really wear a slip. And then, the guy with the receding hair drove a blue car, carefully signaling his turn and pulling into a suburban driveway.
Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said. Michael? I didn't need him. Michael? Mats? Ivan? Bjorn? The view from his hairline. No, the hamper's full. Yeah. Michael? He's with Elliot. If you don't talk to your kids about bedspreads, who will? Man, I guess I should quit prowling around my neighbor's house and go home. Michael? Oh, oh, oh my heart. Sparkle, I thought you were playing with her. Put her in the garage so when I scared you, she could make noise. You rascal, you planned this whole thing? <laughs> yep. Well, it worked. You scared me. I think I'll go let her in now. Okay, go. Now grow some hair, son. <laughs> Ooh, I'm up, I'm up. You know, Frampton really did come alive. Guess I shouldn't have filled the bowl with vodka. Rock and roll Martian, I guess. Charlotte! I think we must have given her too much food, son. Yeah, but she was so skinny. Well, she's supposed to be skinny. Fish aren't made to eat very much. Can we bury her now? Yeah, we can. Well, son, if you uh, hold the lid open, we'll bury her at sea. We'll put it right out front, okay? Yeah, next to the 15 turtles. <laughs> Kids. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mercedes, BMW, Suzuki. Under the conditions of a recent Insurance Institute for Highway Safety 40 mile per hour crash test, each of these SUVs received the highest overall rating of good. Yet the Suzuki XL7 costs nearly $20,000 less. And that makes the XL7 not just a safe choice, but a smart one. Lease a Suzuki XL7 today for just $249 per month with only $19.49 to start. Wizard Scented Oil. It brings a unique freshness to your home. You can control the fragrance level to create a long-lasting, magical atmosphere. Scented oil from Wizard. Fragrances that change your world. When you eat Gardetto snack mix, you don't fool around. Hardy, a robust mix of flavors with a hefty crunch. Gardetto's, snack like you mean it. Imagine knowing something terrible was going to happen and no one would believe you until it was too late. Critics are calling it heart-stoppingly scary. The Mothman Prophecies, rated PG-13, now in theaters everywhere. If you had the power, how would you change history? Find out with Civilization 3. Rewrite history with the greatest computer strategy game of all time. Build the ultimate empire with the game of the year. Explore the wonders of the world and match wits with history's most dynamic figures. Hail civilization! It's divine! History has never been so addictive. If you buy one computer game this year, get Civilization 3. For PC and Mac, rated E for everyone. Every forensic pathologist has at least one or two cases that can't be solved. Memories never die. Linda Fiorentino, Ray Liotta, the sci-fi premiere of Unforgettable. Tonight at 9, on Sci-Fi. The Crips move in. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, now we're in hell. It finally happened. The old pincushion man. Terror of Balloony Land. Folks, 
I got Tang and Bugles. Just killing time till video games are invented. So where's your dad? Never mind. That's so pleasant. Is this outfit too revealing? Hi. What'd you do? I cut myself. You bit yourself? What an idiot. Mr. Goodrin. <laughs> Yeah? No, Grandma, you can't come out. Yes, Pete. Yes, Pete. All right, I'll be right out. Ha, 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 that's pleasant. <laughs> what you need? I got to time this thing. Can you get in and turn it over a couple times for me? Sure. I'm benign. Brought to you by LSD. That was particularly funny. Nobody writes for the solo symbol anymore. <laughs> Remember that kitten, Billy? That was nothing compared to this. No. At least the kitten went quick, Billy. <laughs> I'm just waiting for firing line. I'll get tough. I'll just call his bluff. Just throw me a wet towel. I'll do it. One more rep. Fine, I'll just fashion a crude mask from dryer hose and charcoal briquettes. Do it again. Hold it. I'm not going to be able to do it like this, not mechanically. I'm going to need my timing light. Why don't you go extinguish your dog? You wouldn't know where it is, would you, old buddy? Uh, it's probably in my garage. You probably left it in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go get it. <laughs> I'm gonna buy an Ann Jillian poster later. Puppy. Back off or my lips get it. Boy, they have a long house. My AMC Pacers in there. But there are funny cartoons. <laughs> are you done yet? Finish my fine washables, then I'll douse the fire. Are you chili fire? Do you want a light wrap there? Sparkle! Oh, it melted my leisure suit. Stay inside! Oh, stay here, honey. We're gonna change the dog's name to Crispy. David, what happened? It's okay. Are you okay? It's out, yeah. It's out. Where's Sparkle? I very quickly sold Sparkle to a farm where he'll be happier. I'm sorry, Mike. Sparkle's dead. No! So, Billy, the little boy who looks just like you went through terrible, irredeemable grief. Hey, he sniffed my crotch. The monkey killed the dog? <laughs> I told you it's a bad toy. What happens next? Does it kill Michael? Well, now, now you're getting ahead of me. First things first. You see, David, Michael's father, starts to get suspicious, so he calls a, a psychic friend of his. A what? A psychic. You know, someone who can see into the future, talk to ghosts. Ian Warwick. You know, a clairvoyant. Uh... Oh, a clairvoyant. Why didn't you say so? Does he have a sea turtle under his sweater vest? Anyway, he tells her about the strange things that have been going on, and she, being sensitive in that area, senses that something in his house might be possessed by an evil spirit. You are sick, well, old man. It doesn't man. take long to figure out what it could be. So You're not going to like this, David, but we have a very serious situation here. I'm running out of shawls. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to deal with it personally. Because of its nature, you're going to have to deal with it alone. Why do I have to deal with it alone? Listen to me, David. As a psychic, I have an aura of a certain nature that the demon would unquestionably sense. Wake up! The moment I stepped into your house, all hell would break loose, literally. <laughs> yeah, but what am I supposed to do? I don't know anything about evil spirits. Get that toy out of your house. You idiot! I have a feeling that's not going to be so easy to do. You want some peanuts? What's that? It's called a Bethagram. I sense the demon's name is Beth. It's supposed to protect me from the demon, huh? Yes, just keep it in your possession at all times. 
great. Should I wear garlic around my neck, too? My God, David, I'm you sorry. moron. I'm sorry. I appreciate your help, but I just wish you I could know. come. I know. I am sorry. <laughs> I wish I could do the exorcism for you, but this is something you'll have to do on your own. Damn it. And remember, David, never let it know. You stupid bastard. I could stab you in the eyes right now, so help me God. <laughs> In there, Mikey Draws. Yeah. Oh, I ordered us up the whole series of Ernest Borgnine's children's books based <laughs> on the uh, movie. I don't know. I thought it might be whimsical or something. Yeah, well, bring on the whimsy, man. <laughs> okay, well, here's one called Santa's Workshop of Shimmering Delights. I ah, think that might like be whimsical. That sounds nice. Oh, man. Wow, well, this is inappropriate. Uh, here, Aaron the Elf's hands get scissored off in the sheet metal crimper. Ooh, yeah, that's unsavory already. Right. Yeah, wow. Let's try this one. Slow Bear's Woodland Picnic. What could <sighs> possibly go? Could be delayed. Wow. What? Holy cow. Slow Bear bashes in Charlie Chipmunk's head with a can of pork and beans. Wow, that Borgnine is dark, man. man. Hey, try Fluffy Bunny's new blue suit. That, that sounds Yeah, good. that sounds completely... Oh, my. What? 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 Oh, 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 ah, they're eating his liver! Oh, 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 oh. All right, that's it. These are all going back. Oh, look at this one. Dr. Blood's Orgy of Gore. What is with this guy? Man, this is... I can't look. Oh, this one seems fine. What? Oh, uh, in a little cozy hole in the ground lived eight plump mice. Uh, whose eyes get poked out with upholstery needles? Yeah. No, they get little sweaters and live happily. <laughs> wow, weird. We'll be right back. Little sweaters, really? Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Every day, lots to do. Never get completely through. But when it's time for us to eat, I make the meal complete. Nothing completes the meal like Grand's Biscuits. My to yours. Infrastructure. It's the grail, the Rosetta Stone. I mean, e-business is about new business models, new organization design, but without the right infrastructure, it's all just theory. Get your copy of the grail. It's IBM's free infrastructure guide, because these days, you can't know too much about infrastructure. So you're the guy who's going to help us figure out the infrastructure. No, actually, I work in benefits. I just read this somewhere. We can help you. Let the Pazon revolution begin. The new Pazon from Pizza Hut. The pizza you eat like a sandwich. It's mozzarella cheese and tantalizing toppings. Sandwich calzone style. $5.99 or have a Pazon party. Two for $10.99. Only at Pizza Hut. I know my daughter. She's just like me. Works for every grade she gets. She thinks I dress like an idiot. And she wishes her chest were bigger. <laughs> She knows people who do drugs. I know she doesn't do them. I know, because I ask. I ask all the time. It's absurd. It's outrageous. It's Monty Python's Flying Circus. Call now and get Monty Python on two full-length videos or one DVD for just $19.99. Use your credit card in the next 10 minutes and we'll cut the price in half. You'll get two videos or one double-length DVD for just $9.99. <laughs> then preview other hilarious volumes. Keep only those you want. Cancel any time. From lumberjacks to dead parrots, you'll get all your favorite Monty moments. Remember, call now with your credit card order and get Monty Python for just $9.99. <laughs> Don't miss out on this exclusive TV offer. Call now. Call 1-800-764-6611 and get two videos on VHS or one DVD for only $9.99 when you use your credit card. Or send $19.99 plus $4.99 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Or order online at timelife.com. They have it all. Wealth, fame, beauty, and sorrow. Were you like 16 or 17 when she passed? And I was traumatized by that. Join John Edward as he brings messages of validation and love to three very special celebrity guests. If I can help just one person, then it's all worth it. Ricky Lake, Anne Rice, Roma Downey. It 
reinforced for me. Something that I've believed my whole life. Crossing over with John Edwards Celebrity Spotlight. Sunday at 8 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Good books all. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Moo. Oh, Mike. Come here a second, Mike. And the mechanics, too. Come on. Hey. Pete's gonna go shopping. Why don't you go give him a hand? In his old Chevy? Yeah. Yeah, take off. Uh, I might move while you're gone, but... Remember, David, never let it know that you're aware of its presence. You stupid man. Do you think it would know? Yes. I really should buy my own pictures for these frames. <laughs> well, time to rake the shag. Yeah, rental furniture is the way to go. Do, 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 do. Not thinking about demons. Do, 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 do. No demons. Come on, put on John Philip Sousa. I'm dying to use these. Hey, hey, hey. Would you stop the whistling? We both know what's going on. <laughs> Killdozer! Oh no, it's a vacuum. You know, I, I usually love movies packed with scenes of people vacuuming, mm -hmm. but this one's leaving me a little cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tom, 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 the night Chicago died. Tom, 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 Tom. You've got to be kidding. Oh, real subtle. Bingo. Got that done in time for bingo. Tom, T, Tom, Tom, just taking my monkeyless garbage out to the curb. Da, Tom, T, Tom. I can't wait to get back inside to my monkey. Ta doodly toon ta tum tum. Hey, you put me in bottles and cans only. Hey, there's a perfectly good can open here. And look, here's that dog I killed. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Times Square, new show. Check it out. Good show. Times Square. I'm going where the sun is shining through the pouring rain. Oh, I've got to get some shorts. I am baking in this thing. See, here's his problem. He's going around dressed like that, asking women, have you seen my little monkey? I can't believe they had Sam Neill playing me. Should have been Skeet Ulrich. Ooh, that guy is ripe. Why did he tape moths above his eyes? Hey, the cleaners of the velvet robe special on Tuesdays. My cake didn't turn out. It's a head. Mikey and I went down to the store. You didn't look too good earlier, so I thought we'd pull our resources and cook tonight. Ah, great. I feel fine now, though. Yeah? Did you take an ass? No, I cleaned the house. Oh, very interesting. And so, of course, this makes you feel better, hmm? Exactly. Well, sure, whatever. Say, do you do windows? He's still dating? <laughs> Come on, kid, you're nine. Get a real bite. <laughs> well, I better get back to Abba. Oh, man, I, I was right next to an old coffee filter in a diaper. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, kid. Dad is so going into the cornfield. Look, here's another pet. Another toy, a pet, another toy, a toy, a pet. I think they better mow their gravel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, kid. You're now part of the Dark Army. Monkey's getting pyrea. 
My point is, Billy, a man dies with a whimper, looking into the face of ultimate darkness. God, I over tan my ears. Mm -hmm. A not unattractive girl, floor it! Do I smell chicken? Why couldn't the monkey arrange this from inside the garbage can? Good point. Hey, baby, what's happening? Fuck <laughs> off. It's an exciting tale of making an early supper. Oh, rare. Just the way I like chicken. Hmm. Traffic's pretty light. He should be fine. Mm. No, oh, come on, what's happening? I really want to know. Mike Douglas is on. No! Oh, don't be so dramatic. What the? Oh, People yelling. Uh, What's going on? Where are you going? This guy is just wearing jockey shorts. Look at that. I gotta go. We just got barbed wire at Blockbuster. This car doesn't have an airbag. I'm very short. <laughs> what are you doing, Dave? Look, do I have corn in my teeth? At least turn on the radio. <laughs> Monkey is frantically looking around for oil pans and light bulbs. You do this and I will call a legion of beanie babies down on you. In the fields of barley. In the fields of gold. Oh, like you have such a great kid. Get over it. Uh, my family does have a plot, if you wouldn't mind. Tell the other monkey percussionists I love them. That wasn't me. You slipped. There are cigar bars even in the desert. <laughs> Sir. Jojo hungry. Jojo want banana. Jojo want ticket back to... Uganda? <laughs> Want a world with faster, better connections? Switch to Earthlink. With fewer drop-offs and tools to reduce spam, it's the internet the way it should be. Switch to Earthlink now and get a thousand free hours when you sign up for six months. Call 1-800-EARTHLINK. Get moving to Applebee's for sirloin steak skillets. Like our bold pepper steak or smothered steak with fresh mushrooms, onions, and mozzarella. Only at Applebee's. <laughs> Sun Pathfinder. You do it so your big mean sister can't have one. This month at Sonic, we ask why one onion ring in our chicken strip dinner? You already get lots of all-white meat strips, plus dipping gravy, fries, Texas toast, even a cold drink for only $3.99. This is one delicious mystery. In the 21st century, the vampire Lestat knows no fear. We are the powerful. 
except one. Akasha, the mother of all vampires. Join me or die. She takes pleasure in only one thing. Aaliyah, Stuart Townsend. Destroying life. And Rice's Queen of the Damned. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Rated R starts February 22nd. Today's events. At 11, cinema feature, Adventures of Captain Zoo. At 1, cinema feature, Altered States. And at 3, cinema feature, Stranded. This is sci-fi. We need a special investigator to work with law enforcement on cases involving criminal abuses of science. From the producer of The X-Files and 24, Strange World, a sci-fi original series, premiering Friday at 8 on Sci-Fi. Yelling at Mason Reese? Let's see you get out of this. Satan subcontracts with God to arrange a storm. Well, if his hair is made of wool, it's gonna shrink. Hey, can you go to the car and grab my galoshes? Hey. Doesn't he know it's dig a pony and shock the monkey? No, I don't. Be out in five minutes. Meanwhile, on a dry model. Bugs Bunny must have taken that wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> What's the big deal about wet t-shirts, Mike? I just don't see the appeal. Yeah, not doing it for me either. So evil wins, Grandpa Bork 9? That's right. Even your tiny soul is doomed, Billy. Yeah, I got a crack this guy can crawl out of. <laughs> wow. I'm stiff and dry and I have a big lumpy butt. Sorry, Unitarian. According to you, I'm in the butterflies and the sun, and I'm just a vague, benevolent force. You're on your own. Hi, rigor mortis. <laughs> Ooh, what? I hear laughter in the rain. <laughs> I leave light and hope for me, please. Get out from behind that cushion, Billy. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else Satan created. Japanimation. This is the anime version of Peter Rabbit. But Grandpa Borgnine, the tree fell right on him. I know, but I wrote myself into a corner. That's the monkey. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll be right down. Don't come. I'm not worth the trouble. Oh, she is, huh? Okay. Yeah. Did you tape Robert Schuler for me? You did, huh? Yeah, I'm sure he'll be surprised. Okay, I'll see you in a little while. Yeah. Bye-bye. Hey, Grandma's at the airport. She'll be here in a little while. A few more minutes without her. Well, why don't you go make sure your room is clean, huh? Okay. Now put on a clean shirt while you're at it, will you? I like this shirt. Michael, that shirt is filthy. Will you change it so Grandma doesn't think I've been falling down on the job? Okay. I'll kill another of your dogs. Ultraman! Ultraman! Got hit on the cheek with a tiny meteor. <laughs> Huh, Borgnine forgot to write this in. Maybe I can use it as a bottle opener or something. Grandpa Borgnine, no, please, not another subplot. I need to grow more ear hair. Merlin's wearing a thong under that. He's going to get some sun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look at you. What gypsy ring do you belong to? Piss off. Gypsy ring? 
Yeah, what's with the custom? Certainly not Halloween. <laughs> uh, forgive me. Uh, Jake Cosgrove. Nice to know you. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> uh, so, Merlin, uh, you look like a man who, uh, who likes his trinkets. Adult trinkets. It happens. Uh, I own a small trinket stand across the way. I'll give you a cookie if you shut up. Uh, it's, uh, it's no use. But you never know. You've got a lot of stuff. Mostly Ringo hats. Well, no, 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 no. It's my monkey. I looked hmm? everywhere. I just I can't find it. You lost the monkey. Check under your robe. What, the, the, the chimpanzee from your show? What? A toy monkey. A toy monkey. You mean the kind with the symbols? You see them? That's the damnedest thing. Yep, it sure uh, is. This morning, this thing. some bum walks up. Uh -huh. Here we go. Yeah. He'll give me this toy monkey. You sure. know, uh, like the one you're looking for. It was a good right, thing. Right. So right. I said, OK. Right. Let's move on. You got it. You're not going to believe this. Not an hour ago, no, an old man pulls up in a car no. and offers me 20 bucks for it. Uh -huh. 20 bucks. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So me neither. You sold it to her. Damn right. What are we going to have my card for 20 bucks? Oh, by the way, get a haircut, hippie. Oh, did you get her name or where she lives? Anything? Well, uh, actually... I keep a full dossier on evil uh, monkey buyers. Uh, her name's... Mary Andrews, 312 Maple Drive. Granted, I don't usually accept checks, uh, but she looked uh, respectable enough. Ride, Shadow Fax, ride! Rock and roll truck! <laughs> well, Pete, I was just telling you, you know. <laughs> Grandma! Dad killed the dog! Michael, how are you, darling? Oh, mm. damn, wouldn't you know it? Mary, there's my phone. I'll talk to you later. All right, Pete, thank you so much. Welcome home. Oh, thank you. Michael, how are you? Fine. Is that for me? Is that you, yes, Mom? Dear. Yes. How was your birthday? Did you have a party? Yeah. Can I open my present now? Well, take it over to the table and wait till Dad comes, okay? Okay. Okay, where's the scotch? Mom! Hi! Oh, David, what has happened to you? Don't even ask, you? Mom. Have you been in an accident or Look, something? you wouldn't believe oh. me if I told you. Can I open my present now, please, Grandma, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, dear, you may. David, are you sure you feel all right? I'm sure, right? Mom, I'm just fine. I'm fine. Hey, did you see how well I took care of your plants? Oh, they look beautiful. I can't believe how much they've grown. <laughs> So you kept the kid, huh? Isn't it, darling? My cabinets are flying away. Michael, I'm sorry. David! Don't ask questions, Bob. Oh, I tripped over my bun. Dad has one syllable. Dad. God can't help. He's too busy helping Reggie White win football games. Oh, come on, Grandpa Borden. I no wonder you never sold this turkey. Hey, it's what I do. Lighten up. <laughs> Saint Merlin not recognized by the Catholic Church. Oh, <laughs> you found it. Oh, my bra pop. Sweetheart, you can come home now. Ronald McDonald's half-sister. And so, with the monkey back in Merlin's possession, <laughs> Merlin could return home with renewed hope. For what, Grandpa? Come on. Of course. He'd still have to decide what to do with the monkey to ensure nothing like this ever happened again. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. Eh, forget it, Grandpa. Start from scratch. But for now, content that everything was back to normal, uh -huh. Merlin could reopen his shop and continue his quest to inspire the hopes and dreams of all those with satanic monkeys whose lives would soon touch his own. <laughs> uh, now, time to die. <laughs> I also have a script called Chinatown, but I don't like it as much. Uh, I'm hooking up here. You need one? Uh, wait. Goodness, you've grown big. Since I started that story. There you are. Eh, this is sorta of clean. <laughs> Monkey home! The car coming home! Flaming cat! Horrible! Dog dying! The mean psychic's so quick! Help me! Uh. 
Uh, here's your contact lens if you need it. I'm going to hit the mystical can. <laughs> yes, it's my mission to release evil and gradually recover it following the deaths of many innocent people. I did a good job painting this room. Remember to believe in magic or I'll kill you. <laughs> Then Merlin went chapter 11, and the magical trees and trolls were liquidated, and today he's an assistant manager at the Limited. Ah, uh, I just feel all mystically magical, Mike. I'm gonna go and rip someone's guts out. You know, this store folds, they could open a Zarella's secret. Yeah. Hey, you guys, you know how this wasn't a piece together Ernest Borgnine movie? Well, there's another not piece together Ernest Borgnine movie that I liked even better. Oh? Do you want to know my favorite not piece together Ernest Borgnine movie? It's the one I saw about a butcher. The lonely butcher he used to hang out with a bunch of other single guys until he meets just the right lonely woman. Ah, Marty. And together, pursued by an evil monkey, they lead a group of rock-hard ex-convicts behind German lines in exchange for their freedom. Uh, you sure you're not getting two movies confused there? Oh, no, it's the same movie, Mike. And then this is, it's the one with the evil monkey. You know, it's great. <clears throat> Ernest also leads a bunch of people out of a huge capsized ocean liner. I can't believe you've never heard of this. Now, what does the evil monkey have to do with... At the, some point, hey. it's one movie, you know. Right. Someone yeah, pledges their love from here to eternity. I, I think, you know, it's been a while since I've seen it, but the evil monkey appears out of nowhere and shouts, it's so hideous, it shouts, Mikhail! Mikhail! Yeah. What's the name of this movie? It's one movie, Mike. Yeah, right, yeah. I got that. Not pieced together. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think it's called Airwolf. Rock and roll Martian. Wow, look what we got. Cool. Super cool. Who's it from? Who's it from? Ah, uh, well, it says enjoy. Love the soon-to-be-accredited evil mad scientist, Pearl. Uh -oh. Pearl, look oh at boy. this. Whoa. Uh oh. Look out! Look out! Look out! Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm not a very good evil monkey. I'm Don't sorry. Uh, Don't tell Lawgiver, please. I'm sorry. I'll clean up everything. I'm sorry. Ah, oh. uh, Pearl's calling. Oh, oh, hide me! Tell her I killed your dog, please. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever. Oh, just monkey. get up. Oh, for crying out! Would you just get down here, you boob? Brain guy, get him. I'm end dusting Pearl. Tell him I do. Okay, Nelson. According to your guys' scores on the Schumacher Esterhaus cinematic pain differential, you did experience a good amount of pain. I was very pleased with the Borgnine in touch in the film, personally speaking. However, I am a little disappointed with your scores on the Wood Gordon Tedium inventory. So, the movies are only going to get worse. Because the more you hurt, the faster I get certified. And I know you guys want that for me. Why'd you just get in the bag, please? Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> I love bags. <laughs>